Welcome back to Shadowgate. So I think we should start this video with a brief status check because the number of loose ends that we have right now is larger than at any previous point uh, so far, and it's only going to increase in the near in the near term. Uh, I actually, keep a, a list of loose ends in a text file, and the two that seem most immediately relevant to us are curing the Banshee curse and opening this bookshelf. So we found in the last episode four recipes for remedies. One of those is going to cure the Banshee curse. And we also found these these books with uh, ruins on them that make a click when you pull them out. So I think that's going to open the bookshelf if we do it in the right order. Or possibly do something with this empty uh, book space. Movement of air, yes, okay. So this grand hallway here, set within a dome ceiling, I would say this is the point where uh, the game sort of becomes uh, blue skies or open ocean, or it's where it opens up in many directions and you have lots of freedom to do, to go many different places and do lots of different things. I'll come up with your own metaphor for that, I guess. <laughs> uh, so let's go. Is this door? Sturdy wind door. Let's go here first. The grunt. Uh, a large bulbous contraption. Connected to the ceiling by a series of co cocooned tubing. <laughs> Some kind of secreted resin. For observational reasons, several rows of tiered seats are arranged around it. This is very weird. Although its actual purpose. What's this? In the floor of this room, a small grate secures a cage. Something large and orange lies inside of it. A puppy here. A serrated set of bones. <laughs> Is Resident Evil. I think it was once very formidable. Hmm. More grates. Scratches. Slimy substance. Can we open these? This one has something inside it, though, so... Ah! Another pumpkin! Round or an item. Becomes painfully good as a pumpkin! <laughs> really, this one's probably close to you, right? What? Shadow Key's a living castle, boy! I can feel her. She's afraid of what's coming. <laughs> F it! Any which way, that'll, that'll work. So apparently we can't click on this, uh... Okay. This, not a candle. Take that. Ooh, there's some beakers here. Butthead says what? I see you have run afoul of my traps. Still, Jer isn't here right now. If you'd like to leave a message, please do I so after the beep. that you are proving most resourceful. You will soon discover your efforts are but in vain. But in vain. <laughs> Stupid Talamar. I like to imagine that Talamar appears at sort of like an awkward moment. Like, he, like a, a cloud of mist appears, and Jer is sitting there <laughs> with his items, like putting, putting two items together, like two Barbie dolls, <laughs> like not sure what to do. <laughs> the glass bottle's empty. Is it half empty? I want to take it. I guess these are all empty. Here's... Got a full... Ah, so these are all duplicated. Four beakers. And this thing. Secreted materials, metal and iron tubing. Iron is a form of metal. Fainting or glow. Slow, almost imperceptible pulse. Seems like this is some sort of like eldritch, eldritch com contraption, some sort of weird medical theater. But uh, this is where we do recipes. Can we use this? Um, the root. What happens if we put one of these mushrooms in this? You attempt to fiddle with a large apparatus. It sits there like a cold, dead piece of iron. Perhaps it needs a power-up. 
like the rest of the castle. Yeah. So figuring out this contraption was one of the places that I was stuck for days. All right, so we'll come back here later, I guess. Turn on the power. Uh-oh. <laughs> so he does come back to life. All right, well, I'm gonna take care of this. Well, bam! <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did you? What's the, what's that amnesia? Okay, so we really do have to kill this guy, huh? It'll waste more turns to sock him every time. Can we burn his body? Nah. Let's try using the spear this time. Alright. Fair enough. This one, this room, kinks and dents, so I know what's in this one. Let's uh let's quickly look at our outfit here. So how's our costume doing? We have Goblin arm ooh, what's what's this? We haven't read this. A nerving feeling and a bunch of creepy crawlies. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Unfortunately, you're currently wearing so we have our goblin armor. We have a big helmet, which should cover up our human face. Uh, let's put on our sunglasses. Or just our glasses. And we'll hide behind our shield. And our, our human hands are covered up. Okay, let's go in. Hello, fellow goblins! How are you doing? <laughs> Dingy smoke-filled guard room. With eating, sleeping, and reclining. Uh oh. Well, I, I can go a few more turns without. Ooh, what's this? A crossbow. So I never figured out what to do in this room. Oh, it's a mace. Uh, anything you try, you just get killed. Smell lost in a greasy east. Grog. Foul decaying stench to it. It must be Grog. He's inebriated. It's rat. I mean, it's not the most disgusting thing if it's just a rat, right? We got a spear or something. Love boars. This chandelier seems like it's relevant. Alright, so let's... These two separate items, the bolts and the... Quarrel. Well, if we pick up the quarrel, or the crossbow, we're not going to be able to pick up the bolt, so... Let's try using... Can we throw the spear like a javelin? Boom! Nope. <laughs> we'll actually attack the goblin with the spear. The other two pull themselves up, pull out their weapons, and before you know it, crush your skull. Uh, I'm not sure if that crossbow was there in my journeyman playthrough. Maybe it was and like, uh, it, it, like it just didn't stick out in my mind because uh, like it, it's obviously you couldn't grab it in time. How are you doing, fellow kids? Alright, let's try... Can we make a fool, fool of ourselves using this uh, chandelier? Use it. You have to jump up and grab a pole of the chandelier. <laughs> Did he just turn his head? Oh, yep. <laughs> Almost as one. It wouldn't be comical if it what happens next. This is what the wishbone must feel like as two beasts grab each limb and rip them from their sockets. <sighs> yeah. So I don't know what to do there. What a pity that you It is sort of a mystery to me right now how Master is gonna like how did Journeyman prevent me from solving any master puzzles, if at all. Uh like, I was saying this before, like, it, it would be really bad game design if, like, the puzzle is you use, I don't know, the sharpened sword, 
but in like, but that only works if you're on master, and if you're on journeyman, the sharpened sword just gets you killed. That would be terrible. So I think like one thing they could do is have items that don't appear in other difficulties. So just look out for something new that might help me there. Metal bands. Ooh. Rising to the height of the vaulted ceiling. I want to get a better look at this place, but uh, let's pick up our stuff first. A wrought iron poker. <laughs> this is like our third uh, long metal stick. Yeah. So let's uh, get the creepy music out of the way, please. And a scroll. Take that. What? Drop the scroll. Uh, open up. You read the hastily written note. Vandral discovered a great weakness in our defenses. Since we all have the mark, it's simply a matter of separating our heads from our shoulders. <laughs> Then our remains can be used in the hidden approach, and the wards will be engaged, allowing those with the knowledge to travel the castle unopposed. One merely has to be within our walls for this to work. Three squiggly lines. I don't know, there's a bunch of wavy lines. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> Since we all have the mark, it is simply a matter of separating our heads from our shoulders. Well, of course! <laughs> this reminds me of the time, Egon, when you wanted to separate your head from your shoulders. <laughs> this Ghostbuster references, man. Have we seen the hidden approach? Is that a room? What's, uh... Oh, here we go. Okay, so the towers. Why is this not? No. Caves. Huh, so the first section of the game is called the caves. Yeah, I don't see a hidden approach here. Hideaway. Huh. Interesting. It took note of this text we couldn't read. So he says separate our heads from our bodies, and then our heads have the mark. Or some we have the mark. Does that mean that the skulls, the power skulls, are their heads? The hidden approach. Alright, so is the Is the first room the hidden approach? No, it doesn't look like okay. Yeah, I don't know. This is clearly referring to the mirrors, right? Travel the castle unopposed. Within our walls. Maybe we'll figure that out later. Not quite sure what that is. Uh, no, can't saw that. Okay. Chairs, I'm guessing these are useless. Is there... Can we search the desk? No. Okay, lots of... You say it's different, but you said that last time and there wasn't anything behind it. Of course, we got this thing. An impressive window dominates the far side of the hall. The stained glass depicts a number of robed figures, each reaching for some type of conflagration in the heavens. I do remember there's a puzzle in this room involving this, but I want to see if we get a clue for it first. I'm far in the banquet room. So it's cold and unused. Okay, a bunch of doors. Familiar iron pattern, huh? Locked. 
And it's lightning, great. So we have a wrought iron key. Let's use that. No. Still haven't used this key. Um, let's go in the center. What if that's programmed to the lightning? Into the small house. I'm guessing we can't punch this guy's lights out, right? Goblin leads out of the shadows, blocking your way. Both freeze, eye each other. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> What's his weapon? Spiked mace. Hmm. I like his ears. Nice animation there. These hand drawn, uh. Not hand, I mean, like hand painted, I guess. I like how they took time to add animation. Uh. Oof. What should we do? Beat him to death with our hammer. Play Yahtzee. Nice music. Huh. Let's just do standard weapons. Ooh. Listen to those flutes. Alright, let's... This is our sharpest weapon. And I think it'd be a bit better than the spear. Nope. <laughs> I think I'm with the dirk. Pain explodes along with most of your skull. And then you know no more. Ouch. I'll have to run back here after we're doing some progress. Okay. Take two. It occurs to me that maybe we can punch this guy. Because the first goblin, you didn't need the gauntlet. But maybe you need the gauntlet to punch this guy. Let's see. Bang. Ooh, worked. Use your gauntleted fist. Yes, connects with a monster with a sickening crack. Goes down like a sack of potato. <laughs> Here's your fist in triumph. Got some new quiet music here. Mm. Nice treat. Let's uh, remember the advice. Always search the corpses. And a ring. Oh, he's going to propose to me. What's this, a goblin hemel? Hide in iron. It's a bit large. I think our existing helmet is a bit large as well. Several sizes too large. A bit large is better than several sizes. Our goblin disguise is improving. Not that I think that's the solution, but... Uh, all right. We will finish you off with... Uh, the the sewer, the sewer bar. Well, bam! Oh, I know what to do. Bring Thor's hammer down. Bam! Ouch! No torches, huh? <laughs> yes, I think one just a few moments ago. <laughs> Caved in. So I think this is just completely impassable. Even though it is sort of highlighted. Lion breathing fire. Heavy door. Oak. Okay. Castle's fortification sit like an impenetrable wall. It's relentless onslaught of the raging storm. Nice angel statue. Reliant, triumphant, marble angelic statue, empty slot set within the outstretched arm. Huh. What's this? An ancient script covers the part of the wall, the battlements. You can't understand a word. These sort of seeming like we should get this scenery. Mm, oh. The sieged castle. Was Shadowgate ever under siege? Hmm. Alright. 
seems like we are supposed to get something that translates the script now. Or maybe that's like a new game plus, like you if you beat Master you can get more lore maybe. I can see them doing that. You nearly slip. Situated on the edge of the deep chasm. Fortified watchtower. Doesn't look that fortified, but another unfortunate soul. The skeletal remains of a long dead wizard. Lie rotting. Ooh. We have an arrow that's in <laughs> that's also in need of repair, but it's a start. Oh, so I search the body first. Okay, all right. I conveniently put it all in a. Oh, this is a quiver at that. Sadly, this frayed, ripped quiver is devoid of arrows. I'll take it anyway. And let's open the bag. Two scrolls, a key, and a rune. Ooh, a rune. It's our first rune. Let's. Oh wait. So first, I'm gonna get this key. Write down. We have to write down all the keys. A lightweight metal. Huh. A lot of, we didn't look at this ring, did we? Must belong to the legendary King Duggan. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Ripped along its edges. Hastily unroll. Take a passage. Follow the path that the angels have left. The philosopher, the historian, the bard, and the priest. From Leif to Heretic, Danswith, Anham, Lilith. Along with Abner, and lastly, Laros provides the key. Those are names from the library. So I, I did write down some stuff about the the books with ruins on them. I wrote down their positions just so it'd be easy to find them again. So I remember in my last playthrough, it was kind of annoying having to to find, remember the positions of the book by memory. So there was. One, two, three, four, five. There were six books and one empty spot. But this, wait. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What? I thought it said five. Uh, I'm just reading this. Follow the path to the left. Dorian Bar, the priest. So I just ignore the first sentence and follow these instructions. So these are the authors. Do those guys in order. If we can do that, you wouldn't roll the scroll. Ah, another spell. Flu Morris. In your mind's eye, you see a glyph glowing with power. Familiar sight. You have learned a spell. Um, Flumoris. In your mind, you see a dazzling flash of light. This is like a flashbang. Hmm. So this mask. I think we need to get other pieces of this mask, though. Uh, so that was the two scrolls. Anything about this quiver? Ruin. Dragon. Yeah, so we need to collect all the ruins at some point. But we don't have the capability to do that yet. Is this? Okay. Let's speak to Lachmir. Is it is it not on? Try checking the. Try turning it off and on. Huh. But it doesn't say it's damaged, right? Can we. 
can open it. <laughs> Rubber handle on it. Open Sesame. Alexa, turn on. <laughs> mm. Well, since we got this spell here, I, mean, I don't see why this would work, but let's just try it. Mm. Okay. Right here. Any vistas? Situated on the edge of a deep chasm. Chasm fens, the end of it. Okay, we already saw that. One wants something. Empty slot. Does it want the scepter? No. Okay. Uh, sounds good. This was a special door. Lion breathing fire. The rich wood. Open the door. It's locked. We have a bunch of keys. Wrought iron key. Key number one. Don't just jam your keys in there. You'll break them. Okay, key number two. This is the lightweight metal. Okay, we also have... One of these books has a lock. Someone's diary. I mean, I see what's the diary. <laughs> uh, we already tried the wrought iron key and... okay. <laughs> two keys, two lock things. No progress. Hmm. Okay, so one thing I want to try is this fireplace. Is there anything in there? Can we go to the fireplace? Flute. Can we search it? No. Can we light it on fire? Can we use the fireplace poker? Get some practice at least. No. Banshee Herald's death boy. Best find some info on that antidote. We found the info. We just need to get the power on. There was that glowing orb in the other room. But uh, I don't think we can like interact with it. Familiar iron pattern. Well, start with what you know. More quiet music. Look at this scene. The mist wafting down the stairs. This is cool. Chilled air. Shiver down your spine. Valuable torches. Yeah, we're not at the point where we need to burn every uh every banner here and try to crush every rock. Okay, let's go. More nice music. The game knows what I like. Swirling clouds. Heavy wooden door. When is the latch shut? Ah, oh, not latch shut anymore. Maybe we should start uh, saving just in case. What was that message? Forced to tug multiple times. Ah, we're back in the mirror room. It's like a Firelink Shrine moment. Okay. Cool beans. Can we use our grappling hook? I don't think so, but... The crumbling mortar offers no firm purchase. For your ambi it's not a very ambitious plan if it's worked once before, but... Uh-oh. Please don't be the last one. <laughs> Groot's down the stairs, past the bleak stone. Oh, this isn't so bad. Just a coughing fit. Iron taste of blood. This is like one of the early warnings, I think. Yeah, we're fine. A whistling fell wind. Strange, there's a carved pumpkin on the door. I remember this one. We probably should do this after the Banshee curse, though. So you knock on the door, you hear a faint voice on the other side. You call that a costume? Come on, I need to put a little effort into it at least. 
Uh, if you want to think about the the solution, maybe pause the video and read this. Huh? Uh, let's see. Cancel, please. Is there anything special with this? No. What is it like from the ceiling? Is there just a giant hole in the ceiling? Hmm. Maybe maybe it's like part of the wall that we can't see. Hmm. Why these stairs? There sure is a lot of stone in this castle. You noticed? Tapestry. Can we take it? <laughs> we just steal everything. <laughs> Look at our inventory here. <laughs> We got pumpkins, a broken bow and arrow. Do we use this key? Looks unfamiliar to me. Oh, the skeleton key, yeah. It's been so long. What's it supposed to be? I think it looks like some sort of creature with wings and a head and legs. Huh, can you open it? Long Erie Creek. Hmm. Massive telescope. Stargazing paraphernalia. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff here to to toy with. Is it uh, cloudy outside? Large window, night sky. One street with lightning and an ominous storm cloud. Ominous storm clouds. Okay. So we've got new stuff to explore. We'll save this for next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care, stay safe, and bye for now.